hi all so today in this video we'll be learning about uh, tracing using pytest cli commands so if i go to the playwright documentation we can see in the pytest play plugin section uh, in the cli arguments part uh, this sections if you go here there is a command called dash dash or hyphen hyphen tracing so which means like whether to record a trace for each test on off and written on failure so which means like if we make it as on then it will trace each test but if we just wanted to trace on failure then we have to give this written on failure okay so let's see that and uh, it's quite simple okay we do not have to do additional we do not have to write additional code in there in here so whatever test you have written in whatever framework i mean with play, playwright obviously uh, you can use this cli commands directly and use it just one thing we need to use uh, page fixture only if you use browser fixture and like that then it will not work okay so this one thing we can consider it as of now uh, I can show you first with this one uh, let's see whether it's working with browser fixture or not uh, because I have already experimented it so I know like it will not work with browser fixture uh, this this uh, this is currently working with page fixture only so let's run it and uh, uh, the commands which you have earlier used by test minus s minus v and then uh, we are using headed mode so headed equals to which means we want to run in uh, chrome open so chromium default browser is chromium so headed uh, does does headed and then you know, what we'll be doing uh, let's run it in chromium only so default is chromium and then uh, we need to give the base url as well so here we are passing the url but here we are not passing so one thing we can do we just can do it here run it directly or we can pass it from here as well so whatever your wish so let's do that only base url equals to source demo and uh, the next part is like let's give some slow motion equals to 500 milliseconds and then the next part is coming like the tracing so dash dash tracing equals to on so right now i want it want to get uh, a tracing for all my three tests okay so that's what i have mentioned here but if i want only on failure then you need to mention written on failure okay so let's hit the enter button so it started executing so the first two will be executed in session scope so that means browser will be open for only one time and the second third one is getting executed in the new browser window right so we can see like three tests are passed and uh, now if we come here you can notice like uh, test results folder were not there earlier and uh, so this folder is created right now i mean after execution of this test so if I just uh, expand it, so you can see one folder also there, which is for test three login. So as I mentioned earlier, like uh, for the browser scope, it is not creating any separate subfolders. Okay, so this zip file, you can see the trace.zip file is created under this folder for test zero three login. So um, as this test zero three login is using this fixture so which is also using page fixture okay so if i con go to the contest you can see this setup to add no login is using page fixer that is why this trace.gif is created for this one it is using browser fixture so this trace.zip file is not created for this other other two tests okay now how to open this uh, if i go to the documentation again now you go to the trace viewer you can see they have mentioned like uh, you need to open it i mean you can you can directly open from the 
Now there is two way to do that. So first way this one. So let's come here. So it's saying that drop the playwright press to load. So what I will be doing, I will be just dragging it over here. So that's it. So it just open here. You can see uh, we can see some strip, right? Some movie strip, something like that. So it's actually the screenshots uh, which it took for each and every action. And uh, here, if I click the context new page, so it is opening the new page and accent doesn't have any snapshots. Okay, fine. Then go to the page dot go to. So it's now open the login page of source demo website and it's saying like source demo URL also given and before there is a blank screen and after the screen appears and here in the call section also you can see different different things like wall time duration okay response navigating to this log and go to the console so input element should have auto completed so something like that it's mentioned and network part also we can see that it's returning 200 git request and here in the source part also it's giving like exactly which line it's executing so you can see like um, it's currently in the fixture uh, contest file so in the nine num line number 19 page dot go to slash okay so lots of information is given here what is exactly happening so it would be very helpful for us like to debug a script if there is any failure and from the screenshot also you can see like uh, standard user and then the locator dot field then the click it clicked on it and then wait for this element like the error message and then it is clicking then it is extracting the locator the inner text so it is also highlighting that which part let's say your locator is not working then you can identify like why your locator is not working uh, so probably it's not actually getting the exact text which you want to fetch okay so it's very i mean great feature i will say like for debugging purpose and very easy to use as well from using the pytest CLI command. Okay, so now let's uh, do one thing. Let's convert this browser fixtures to page one only. So I will do the page fixture, I will use the page fixture and will remove it because by default it would be function scope. And here also I will give a comment sign. So directly I can use this page okay so no need to use this again this context dot page and uh, now uh, if i run it and let me delete it and okay and let's say you want you do not want to use this test results folder instead of that you want to uh, store this uh, in a separate output folder okay that also we can do using a command called output so if I go to the PyTest plugin and here it is does does output directory that produced by test result default is test results. Okay, so instead of test results, if I want to set a different, if you want to create a different folder as well, that we can do it here. So what we can do uh, does does output equals to uh, my test result okay so let's say this is the folder i wanted to store I, I mean i want to store my things in this folder only or maybe it can be any name whichever custom name you want to give default name is test results so let's see whether it's working or not and how many zip file press.zip is getting created it should create Right now we are making it tracing equals to one. That means for each test is to create one trace.zip file. Okay. So it started executing. I think it's executing all three tests in different, different, three different browser. So because we are using page scope that is why it is function scope I mean page fixture we are using so that is why it is executing in the function scope mode 
and you can see uh, it's created it created one folder called my test result and inside that it has three subfolders like uh, test 0 log 1 login test 0 to log out and test 0 3 login with invalid credentials so let's uh, see this logout trace and let's now let's open it in a different way so i mean there is a different way to open like uh, you can directly use this playwright show trace dot this commands you can use in the terminal so if i go to this playwright i mean from this root directory i'm just using it but our trace dot zip is not present i mean this is this is, there is one trace dot zip available but it is not current one right it is created on 18th may so we have to just created right so this trace.zip is present inside my test result so we need to navigate to that folder first so my test results and then by test is test 01 and test 02 no okay test 01 test 02 log out that's that one we want this one we want so uh, next trace dot zip file so we just move to this path my test results and from there we go to this folder and from there we, go, we are going to this trace dot zip right now if i hit enter so the command is like playwright show trace show underscore trace not underscore so so hyphen trace and then the path of the trace dot zip So we can see the playwright trace viewer is opened and uh, it's giving like context new page so it is not having anything and uh, then it's moving navigating to the source demo website which page is getting showing next it's filling it with the uh, username and password so here we can see before this is there is nothing and after this the standard user gets inserted here and uh, here also we can see the different different options like log so in the log also we can see that it's saying like waiting for the selector username selector resolve to the visible event handle okay and waiting for element to be visible element is visible enable and editable and then the console part there is nothing in the network also there is nothing in the source code also we can see the the exact source code where it is happening like if you want to find directly from here right so it's pretty cool and uh, then i'm moving to this part so you can see like step by step everything is giving so username password login button and then it's clicking on the react uh, burger menu button so burger menu button also getting clicked and here we can see um, if i So if I go here, you can see it's complete thing is showing like what happened exactly for each frame it's showing. Like so here we are taking the screenshot also page dot screenshot and then the logout is done and it I mean after this it's showing like this is the assertion like assert login dot page so if there is any failure we can directly view here so what exactly happened and uh, in the console also here also you can see like waiting for the selector what is happening at in the click action element is visible scrolling into the view if needed done scrolling so uh, if you see this click options i mean click method actually before doing this click option or after doing the click option it's actually doing lots of things okay so it's first waiting for the element then it's selected resolve to the visible then attempting to click action waiting for the element to be visible enable and stable element is visible enable and stable after that is scrolling into the view if needed then it's done the scrolling after that it's performing click action click action is done and then it's waiting for scheduled navigation to finish 
and navigation have finished so everything is documented like uh, what is happening exactly when it's performing this click option so it's pretty cool actually okay i hope this was helpful let me know if you have any question please like share and subscribe thank you for watching